What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. We gotta talk, man. We have to have a discussion, y'all. Um, sometimes these independent wrestling companies they just be doing some of the wildest stuff, and they call it wrestling. And I'm gonna be honest with you, some of the stuff that they be doing on these independent shows, I just can't consider it wrestling. I just consider it just random stuff to get some shock value out of and i get sent these clips or these clips happen to pop up in my um in my recommended feed or my timeline whether it's on twitter whether it's on instagram a lot of times i'm not even searching for these type of wrestling clips but they happen to get sent my way and we got to talk about a particular one that i recently posted if you guys follow me on instagram you already know what i'm talking about but we the reason why i'm bringing this up is because i had a very interesting back and forth with someone in in the in the comment section of this said video because i don't know man i i, I just feel like people do random stuff in a wrestling ring and then we just supposed to call it wrestling when really it's not it's not even wrestling anymore in my opinion but y'all will see if you're if you're not sure what i'm talking about let me let me pull this up for you guys because this is just wild follow me on instagram if you haven't already man this is the clip in question i'm gonna play for you guys so you can see exactly what i'm talking about she's drilling the dildo in his mouth if you want to live out your sexual fantasies go ahead and do that but just keep it away from wrestling this is not wrestling this is just you Coming out the closet, letting everybody know you like a dildo shoved in your mouth while it's rotating. As you can see, for whatever reason, this particular spot in the match required a guy to open up his mouth and proceed to swallow a dildo while it's attached attached to a drill. Hmm. That's that's very interesting, man. Very interesting. And and this is being called wrestling right here. This this what what we're seeing right here. This is what we call wrestling, right? All right, cool. I got to find the comment cuz I had a back and forth with someone because they was really trying to defend this. And to be honest with you, this is very hard to defend. Shout out to everyone that commented on here. Because the comments on here were definitely, as you can see, pretty hilarious. But there was one individual that was standing his ground on this particular subject. Trying to rationalize this. Okay, this is the guy, I believe. I had a back and forth with him. And we're going to go through this, man. We're going to go through this. Because I'm, I'm here to prove a point here. So this is from NOI underscore elite. Sometimes they don't even have a choice in what happens in the ring. This was an L video. I responded, nah, he had a choice and he chose to gobble on a dildo. He responds back as you see, my guy, you haven't worked for a wrestling promotion. If they tell you to do something, if you're serious about climbing the ranks, a nine out of 10, you're going to do it. That's why there's so uh, many embarrassing moments for people in WWE. First and foremost, we're not even talking about WWE. We're just talking about an independent company. At the end of the day, if this is what they want to do in said match, you don't have to do it. If the company's known for doing wild stuff like this, you don't have to do it. There's other independent wrestling companies that don't do this type of stuff. Like I said at the beginning of the video, these some of these companies do some of the wildest stuff to get notarized to get some type of viral moment but it has nothing to do with wrestling they just happen to do it in a wrestling ring you can basically say some of this stuff is like jackass comedy at this point so with that comment he doesn't have to i think that's that's a bit of a stretch i respond you have a choice to work for a certain promotion right so if this guy chose to work for this company and they known for doing unnecessary spots like this, then it's a choice. So my point still stands. And then someone else comes in, JD, bro, that $50 wasn't worth it. You act like that uh, That was some known promotion and a wrestler that just 
uh, that's just some guy on a Saturday show in some bar. He wanted to do that. He responds, you still have to pay your dues on the indies. That's how pro wrestling works. No one's denying that, but paying your dues by gobbling down a, a dildo, I don't think it. that's one of the dues you have to pay. It's, it's not something mandatory when you work for uh, some of these wrestling companies. Yes, you have to pay your dues, but you don't have to do this. I don't think Stone Cold or The Rock or The Undertaker or any of the greats had to do this. I'm sure they had to do a lot of things they didn't want, but it was never this. He responds, actually, with that air, they had to do super humiliating stuff. What are you talking about? Some of the people you name don't count. The Rock had to pay his dues, but also uh, had his family behind him, and he didn't get embarrassed like that. The Undertaker got his in a form of bullying from veterans, but not even. To be honest, he was one of the few people they once they started to get uh, their foot in the door, it didn't take five, ten years of figuring out a gimmick to work. Most of your examples aren't good. You have to make a name for yourself uh, on the independent circuit yeah you're right it's different than wwe but that's the same thing but the same thing exists in the indies once again i get his point he's saying you have to go through you know uh the trials and tribulations as a new guy and i know for a fact we've heard uh, you know stories of wrestlers back in the day having have to do like wild stuff embarrassing stuff for people that are you know veterans but once again it wasn't in the middle of the ring in front of fans gobbling on a dildo. That's that's the point I'm trying to get him to understand or I think he's missing. Yes, you have to go through those those periods of, you know, doing things for people that have been there, you know, things you may not want to do. Sometimes they can be humiliating, but not to this extent. So you're telling me that to make your name in the Indies, you have to pay your dues by sucking on a dildo. Or can it just be a, a pointless spot to cause temporary buzz online? Nobody's going to remember the guy who had a dildo shoved in his mouth years from now because someone else would do something crazier to get a little bit of fame. Then other people started chiming in. This is the ladder you don't have to climb. Stop it. And I respond to him. That's what I'm saying. He's making it seem as uh, make it seem like he was forced at gunpoint to do this sus ass spot. Money isn't involved, LL. You mean to tell me those dudes willingly kiss Vince's ass? And he tried to move the goal post, post here. Even those segments, I've always looked at those kind of cringe. I was like, ah, I never really liked that. But at the same time, we are we knew why he was doing those segments. Vince is he he's a <laughs> he can definitely be an egomaniac. And he did those to certain individuals that he knew he could kind of get away with doing that with but even then he was getting ridiculed for it i mean he's just the owner of the company so he can get away with stuff like that but he wasn't doing that to the rock he wasn't doing that to stone cold he wasn't doing that to the major guys that are trying to get over he did that to people that were already established you know what i'm saying to further pointless storylines i've always felt the kiss my ass club was just really unnecessary that was vince just being vince and i you know, I, I always felt like it was unnecessary. But once again, that's not shoving a dildo down someone's throat. So someone else responded, some weird indies equal events. Stop it. So he tries to pull the, you know, I've worked out a promotion card. He said, bro, I've trained uh, and wrestled in a promotion. It's clear you haven't. That still doesn't change the point that old dude didn't have to do that dildo spot you, you all you said was you worked at a a promotion i guess you paid your dues but uh, i mean you still haven't really proved your point any better other than yeah i worked at a wrestling company okay kudos to you my boy but that this is not paying your dues this is someone wanting to do this spot because they know it's gonna have people like yo what the hell's going on here and uh someone responded they can choose payment, though. A can of Coke or a hot dog. <laughs> oh, man. This this interaction was hilarious. I wanted to show this to y'all, man, because honestly, man, stuff like this, when I get sent, like when people show me these clips, I, 
I make fun of them, obviously. I post them on my stories or, or I post them on my Instagram. I make fun of it, make light of it. But it's not wrestling. Let's let's stop calling this wrestling. People are defending this 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 foolishness. People try to make the point. Anything that happens in that square circle, you can consider it wrestling. No, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sh getting a dildo shoved down your throat, down your gullet, does not constitute as wrestling. I'm sorry. No matter how much you want it to, it's not. It's shock value at its finest. That's the only problem about independent wrestling that I've seen a lot of lately is people are going to do the wildest, craziest, most dangerous things because they want to get notarized. And once again, people are not going to remember that next week or a month from now or two months from now. Like people are not going to remember this guy getting a dildo shoved in his throat unless it just happened to randomly pop up on their feed. It's not going to be a, a topic of discussion in the wrestling world. It's not going to be something potentially that WWE is like, oh, yeah, we got to get this guy up here. They see this clip. Oh, we got to get him up here. Um, now, I don't know about AEW, but I, I don't even think AEW would stoop this low to this kind of type of wrestling entertainment. I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe he would get signed to AEW, but I don't know if this would be the clip that gets Tony Khan to want to bring him into his company either. Because at the end of the day, this, this is just it's it's it don't really it doesn't fit the theme of wrestling. If anything, it kind of gives wrestling that stigma of of like, what is this? Like, if I was to show this to one of my homies, be like, yeah, I'm into wrestling or whatever. And I, you know, I end up showing them this clip. I don't show them no, nothing WWE or anything else. They're like, yo, what the fuck is this? What is this? They'll look at me weird. You know what I'm saying? These are the type of clips that give wrestling that weird stigma when people say you're a fan of it. Granted, I don't think you see it as much because of, you know, how things are and the time, the climate we live in now where people are more accepting of a lot of different forms of media and, and entertainment. So you may not see it as much, but if they catch you watching a clip like this, they probably will be like, yo, what the fuck's going on? This is this is what they do in wrestling. And people don't really associate, they don't really know the difference between WWE, AEW, and the independent scene. So they may just think this is what's going on in WWE now. I've posted many wild clips where people thought that was happening in WWE when it, it was just an independent company. You know what I'm saying? So me personally, even though these clips are funny, they're, they're not wrestling. Or should they be called wrestling? I mean, if it's entertaining to you, cool i'm not here to tell you what what's entertaining and what's not but to me it's just it's it's like all right man what are we doing here that's just my personal opinion and i wanted to talk to you guys about this particular video and just this particular subject because i felt like yeah this was definitely video worthy for y'all to see some of the wild stuff i get sent to my instagram and twitter on the daily so comment down below let me know do you guys feel like this is wrestling like do you guys feel like this is a part of wrestling and should be accepted or do you guys feel like no this is not a part of wrestling this is something else that's pretending to be wrestling let me know down below which side of the fence you guys stand on when you see certain clips like this and uh let me know how that makes you feel but i appreciate all the love uh support you guys shown on the channel road to 150k and i'm still young speed the youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking in with me see y'all next one Peace.